Right. I mean, that's something. Doing a lot of things right. Right. That's something um, the off season is there for. I think conditioning had a lot to do with it. Gave my body right. Um, I think that helped me out a great deal. Um, and yeah, I'm just you know trying to. It's junior year also, so like you keep keep learning throughout the whole four years, and like there's really the the margin for error gets smaller and smaller as you get older. Also, um, in terms of being a leader on the team and like taking on responsibilities. So um, yeah, I'm just I've been trying to, to improve on that ever since since the season ended, and uh, I'm happy that that is noticeable. All right, Ty, uh, 21 points, perfect from the line. So what's going to be in line to be um, well, after practice every day, uh, we do 53s and 50 uh, free throws, and we have to get a certain number. Um, so, I mean, just reps in every day uh, just makes it uh, muscle memory. And uh, don't think too much, just uh, step up to the line and knock it down. Your high school coach didn't like punish you guys when you were in laps or anything if you missed free throws? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Oscar, uh, double double, almost 2010. I mean, those are some great numbers, even if it's not the uh, average yet. But <clears throat> how do you feel like your game is now, and how much improvement do you have from uh, your first year? Right, well, I think I just feel a lot more comfortable with the ball in my hands out there. Um, you know, we're we're getting me different looks to score, like we're putting me in a position to score, and got to take advantage of that. Looks like. Right. I would put it this way. I'd say that there's just a lot of like different different ways that we can play and different ways that we can find each other. I don't think there's much of a struggle like finding roles and finding like people fi figuring out what they need to do. I think it's more like everybody can do something on different nights and contribute in different ways. And like Coach said in the locker room, this was a team win and it's always about the team. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that this year we can distribute or scoring or rebounding or assists in so many different ways or defense. So everybody, everybody chips in for that. So how does it feel when you guys walk around campus being an undefeated team along with the Feels the same as always. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you walk around on campus where people have their own companies and, <laughs> and Olympic gold medals on their walls. So I don't think that's the reason to <laughs> feel like big dog on campus now. Uh, you know, you gotta stay, and then stay hungry and keep working. I don't think that's the that's the reason to get get hot headed. <laughs> and to add to that, I mean, I'll, I'll be around, and introduce myself to someone, uh, and they'll ask me if I play a sport. I'll be like, yeah, I play basketball, and they'll be like, oh yeah, like. I'm 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 the, I'm the gymna gymnastics team. I'm a uh, hat of gold medal or something like that. Like it's just crazy the people you meet around campus. So, I mean, four knows very mediocre compared to what um, <laughs> the things that people have done on this campus. Anything else? I think I'll ask the question. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Santa Clara is a, a good basketball team. They're a well coached team. Uh, I really expect them to have a a very, very good year in their conference and overall. And so for us to come out with a, uh, a win tonight is, it feels really good. Uh, you know, we got punched early. We got down 7-0 uh, right off the bat. It wasn't necessarily uh, complete mistakes, but there were some, there were some miscues that we uh, learned from and came back. Last 10 minutes of the second half or so, maybe last 12 in the second half, I thought defensively uh, we defended a really high level. I thought that set the tone for the rest of the game. Um, offensively wasn't perfect, but uh, they pressured us pretty good. Uh, 13 turnovers is a number, you know, I always want it to be lower, but it's not a bad deal. Uh, and I thought they really competed overall throughout the game and maintained their poise. And, uh, and I thought we also, the last thing I'll say is uh, kind of the ability to execute the game plan and get to every time out and listen and try and implement what I talked about was really good. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean it's our motion. We call it lift, but it's uh, yeah, and it's there's there's certainly lift? some lift, um, certainly some freedom to it. Um, uh, pace is always going to be important, um, but hopefully as time goes on, we'll see a lot of different looks and actions out of it. So, coach, when you had that range like that to be down seven that quick and then lead by as much as twenty-two, what does that do for your psyche or equilibrium? 
Well, hopefully every game and every practice we're, we're growing as a team. We're putting the team first in everything we do. Um, and ideally, we're going to have our confidence grow as well. Um, with that, uh, we need to maintain a level of hunger that's uh, very, very high because confidence without the work isn't going to be very good. But if we can have some confidence and, and really understand why we're having some success, uh, I think that can carry you over to some good things. But you guys dominated in terms of uh, the paint and second chance points. Is that physical brand of basketball something you focus on? It is. I mean, we're, you know, one of our core values is toughness, and we want guys to be able to get in there and be physical. I thought Lucas uh, was absolutely fantastic. I thought James was really good in there. They were fighting for rebounds defensively. They were physical. Uh, so they really added something tonight, and that was a, a real key to the game. In the beginning, the free throw line so much has to be a big problem. Yeah, they did, they did a nice job pressuring us, getting into us, kind of getting us on our heels at times. Uh, and we lead a, did a decent job, maybe not perfect, but a decent job of getting downhill and eventually attacking the paint. When we did that, good things happened. And uh, one of the byproducts was getting to the free throw line. So being in the free throw line, how impressed were you with Tyrell, 11 for 11? Well, I had no idea what that three-point shot he shot you know, in the second half. But other than that, he was pretty darn good. <laughs> so uh, that's one we'll watch on tape. And uh, knowing him, I think he's a little disappointed in himself on that one. But uh, I'll focus on that because there were a lot of positives, and I don't want to get him, him to get a big head. It seemed like once you guys got your transition game going, that was a big thing. Yeah, any you know, anytime we can get easy baskets in transition, it's 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 great. You're not having to score against a set defense and um, you know getting easy baskets like that, and it's uh, a lot of times also energizes your defense. And so the transition baskets were certainly a positive. And um, anytime we can create turnovers, create transition opportunities, we're going to look to do that. Okay. Thank you, much. John. Oh, go ahead. Oh no. Well, you went 4-0 the first year, right? Uh, I don't think so, but I don't know. 2016 is your first year, right? I don't know. I can't remember what I ate for lunch. I've been here four years. This is my fourth year. I'm pretty sure on that one. Okay, one win for you. So four. How do you feel about 4-0? I guess 4 start. That's nice. No, absolutely. A few freshmen and 4 There's a lot to build off of. Um, uh, I think there's reasons to be excited, and uh, we should be confident. But, again, understanding that if we want to continue that trend, we're going to have to keep working. But yes, I'm excited. Whatever year it is and whatever our record was the first year. So how important was it, you know, once again, this is another local team. So how, how do you like it when you play teams like that and see the excitement in the crowd? But you can hear some people also cheering for the same player. No, I think it's good. I think there's a lot of really good Bay Area teams. Uh, I think it's good to play those games. I thought the crowd was good tonight. I thought six-man club was good. I thought the uh, general interest in the game was a little bit higher. The attendance was a little bit higher. Santa Clara brought some fans, which is fantastic. We want basketball in this area to become uh, you know, exciting and something people talk about at the water coolers and, uh, and build that brand a little bit, especially for the Stanford basketball. But I thought a lot of positives with it. I think it's good to play some games regionally here. And down the road, you'll be down in San Jose. So you think you'll be the reciprocal? In terms of what? Uh, our crowd, well, this crowd here going down. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.